You're with Prime Network News, I'm Tracy Reid. Wagga is tonight a city of tension with teams of police preparing themselves for what could be another night of violent riots. Chaos reigned in the city throughout last night as the celebrations of thousands of hot rod enthusiasts turned ugly. By 8 o'clock last night, the southern end of Wagga's Baylor Street resembled a battleground. Thousands of revellers spilled over the roads and footpaths as car after hot car cruised up and down the street. Then, as the burnout contest began, the mood reached fever pitch. For the city's police, it was virtually uncontrollable. Well, what we've got here right now, at least what police are describing it as, is something verging on a riot. There's about 2,000 people crammed down there in the Baylor St Edward Streets intersection right now. Police are in a small group. There's only about 30 police. They're having missiles, bottles, abuse hurled at them. And really, there's nothing they can do. They're just standing there and hoping that the whole situation just doesn't get out of hand. But simmer down, it didn't. The crowd, all hot rod enthusiasts, described by police as the hangers-on of the street machine nationals currently being held in the city, continued its rampage. And as police moved in to clear the streets and stop the constant dragging, their revelry turned to hostility. No matter where the police went, the missiles and the abuse continued to be hurled at them. But by 11 o'clock, reinforcements had arrived from Albury, Tarkata, Narandra, Tumut and even Tamora. That's when they moved in and the first of the arrests began amid a chorus of abuse. The crowd tried to avoid police by moving to new intersections. When the police arrived there, they moved on again until they'd covered the city's entire main street. Then the chases began, police cars shooting off in all directions after cars and motorbikes. As the night wore on, numbers dwindled and eventually the police were able to ease up on their strong presence. But police say it's not over yet. Tonight they fear may be worse still. An indication of that was the arrival about four o'clock this morning of Sydney Tactical Response Group called away from the Bass's bike races. And their commander, Senior Sergeant Ron Cowley, says they aren't taking the situation lightly. A police intervention in uh, most cases tends to bring out the worst in them, uh, especially when there's a very large group of them. Would you have to result to strong tactics tonight if the groups became violent again? Well, I hope they don't. Um, we will use certain tactics if they do, but we certainly won't be going too strong. Wagga Detective... Yeah. 